Greetings, sports fans! Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is episode 50 of Booze and Baseball Cards. 50 episodes! It's a milestone! It's also Friday, and I never post on Fridays, but I've got something super special. It's beyond shenanigans. It had to be on Booze and Baseball Cards, where we celebrate the hits or drown our sorrows in the misses, and we've got a guaranteed hit. That's why you've got the Lucky Cup chilling over at home plate, and just a shot glass and a bottle of Casamigos, courtesy of George Clooney and his buddy Randy Gerber. So what is the story? Well, today, I decided to treat myself, so I went into Walmart, which you know I hate to do, but if you collect cards, you gotta go to Walmart sometimes. And... To my surprise, it had been super stocked, lots of clearance, so I'm just sort of browsing the area and I see a couple things, I, I'm like, great, clearance. Grab myself a fat pack of that, grab myself a hanger of that, some 2017 gallery in this busted up box, on clearance, had to get it, and I'm standing there, I'm like, great, this is like basically less than 20 bucks I've got in my hand, what a special treat for me. And I'm just standing there and I'm seeing they got even Bowman Platinum and they've got lots of Topps Chrome and they've got a stack of these Allen and Ginter fat packs. Well, you know, I love the Ginter, so I just pick up the, the whole stack, just kind of look at it in my hand. And the top pack felt weird. So I picked it up and I looked at it and I'm like, why does this feel weird? And I turn it to the side and I go, yeah, man, that looks pretty thick. And you never see the white part on the side like this. And I'm like... It doesn't even feel like cards. It feels really, really interesting. I've heard of this happening. Is there a booklet in there? Those booklets are numbered to 10. That's it. And in a fat pack that no one else found? Did I just get super lucky? We know that my grandmother passed uh, last week. Maybe she was on my uh, shoulder looking out for me, wanted to give me something special. Uh, and so I grabbed it. I know it's a, a relic autograph book. So... I had to do episode 50, a big special one. So let's pour ourselves a shot glass before we get into it. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the odds of Relic Books. Now, the one negative to the Relic Auto Books, they're sticker autos. To me, that's really troublesome because of like one of the hardest hits you can get. To have it be a sticker is a little disappointing, but they are still very, very cool. Now, a single auto Relic Book is one in 2,765 packs. A dual Relic Auto book is one in 5,925 packs, which you can see the odds right there. So I went online, I know it's a book, I wanted to see what, what, who's in there, what, what's in the checklist, right? So single Relic Autos are like Andre Dawson, Bo Jackson, Don Mattingly, Ichiro, KB, Miggy Andujar, Trout, Devers, on and on, right? A lot of great stuff in there. The dual autos are Albies and Acuna, Andujar and Wade Boggs, Bagwell Biggio, Judge and Jeter. Oh, man, if that's what's in here, that's going to be mind-blowing. Uh, Freddie Freeman and Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Chupa and Greg Maddox, Otani and Trout, KB and Ryan Sandberg. Uh, the list goes on. It just lots of great hits right there. So really, we're not going to lose. That's why we got the shot glass. It's going to be a great hit. So, let's rip into it. I would say check the description below for the link to the Clarice Goldberg Scholarship. It is going to be there, but odds are I'm not going to give this away. However, if it's a PC team player of yours and you want to make a generous pledge to the scholarship, email me. My email is in the About tab. We can talk about it. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, man. I can't believe it. I've heard of this. You know, people like, oh, yeah, you can get relic books, but, like, they got to get... Even the vendor, right, would just take it. You got to know it's there. It feels different. But no, there it was. Just me, browsing the aisle. Relic book. Mine. And of course, look at that. I can see it right there. My guy Miggy on the back. But I know that that's not going to be the relic. That's just a regular single card. Look at that. So cool. All right, so we got Rick Porcello on the front. I got Miggy. AJ Burnett in some Marlins gear. Dansby Swanson. Just want to make sure I'm not going to spoil it. 
Those are cool. Nice Bregman. And an A and G back mini. That's that's a hit too. Uh, a minor league baseball general manager. How cool is that? That's like uh, Brock Meyer. Amanda Pete plays a, a female general manager of a minor league baseball team. Okay. Oh, looks like we got a, another mini. We do have another mini. Let's see what our second mini is. It's Mitch Hanniger. Okay. I don't really know how to reveal it without just giving it away. A little double dare action for you. All right, so I'm just going to... Actually, let's do it like this, right? So you can't see what it is. We're all going to enjoy the reveal together. I hope I've got it right side up. Actually, I think this is the right side up. Here we go. Kaboom! Delicate pack drop. It's the crime dog and Freddie Freeman. Number 10 of 10. You know I love the bookends when you can get number one or the last number or the player number is also really cool. What an awesome patch. Got the napkin for Fred McGriff, but he is the crime dog. I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. I have never pulled a book like this ever. Uh, I never really thought I would. This is such a freak stroke of luck. I swear, like my grandmother was right there, her ghost or spirit saying, you know what, I'm going to give Jason a little something, something. Look at that. Genuine top sounding inter autograph relic book that features memorabilia from Fred McGriff and Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman is having an incredible year. Uh, is he going to be like a Hall of Famer? Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think because he's Mr. Consistency. You know, he's not a flashy guy. He's like a workman kind of ball player. Uh, but this year, I think he's got 38 homers, like 119, 120 ribbies, and he's like hovering around 300. Um, I think we might be hitting exactly 300, maybe 299 right now. Um, just great, you know, with, when you got Albies and Acuna and everyone's looking at those guys and you just overlook Freddie Freeman just having another incredible year. That is spectacular. I have a little thing here. I'm going to try to get it in without, because I don't have one of those, um, like a one touch that fits a booklet. Oh, but this is going to work perfectly. Or maybe not quite perfectly. Oh, it's not going to work. What I was trying to do was get it in one of these, but it's too big. It's too big. So I'm going to have to be more creative and find me one of those dual relic uh, booklet one touches. have to order it online or something. But Wow. Wow, actually, that's not even as good of a display as we can do, I don't think. Because we're going to do a shot. Oh, because you've got to celebrate the hits, everybody. Woohoo! Cheers. <sighs> that made the week. We have had a great little Allen and Ginter run here. Open that hobby box. With the number 7 out of 10 double rip card of Lou Gehrig and Don Mattingly. Maybe one of the best hits I've ever had. This is up there. The stickers, you know, the, the they're neat because they, they're kind of holographic that you can see there. But they, they kind of force the, the signer to write a tiny signature. Um, but they look really good, really clean. Uh, the book itself looks really good. I'm not really seeing any, like, dinged corners too much. Uh, or at all, because, you know, it's, they're kind of easily dinged. Um, and I'm going to try to put it in something at least temporarily to keep it safe. Uh, but wow, I had to do an episode today because I, when I came across that, I was like, I can't wait. I can't wait and, like, sneak this in the pick-a-pack and not know, you know, pretend like, oh, I don't know what's in here. I, I had to rip it. Had to rip it on a special milestone episode 50 of Booze and Baseball Cards. Awesome. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this one fat pack extra awesome episode. Uh, really looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.